Hello everybody, hello once again, my name is Bruno, we're going to continue the topic, carry on, traveling with VIP. Alright, so today we're going to understand, we're going to comprehend what is the difference of something that is, or how you can express something that is important, something that is necessary, something that is just a suggestion. So, we're going to see this difference of the structure, how can you express it, and actually some items. What items are just a suggestion, just a good idea. What items you need, you have to, it's a necessity. And what items you must is really important. Alright, so I'm gonna start with three examples, actually three items. And uh, a book, the passport, and gloves. Alright, so one of them, it's there's no option. You gotta take it. You have to. You need. It's a necessity. If you don't have your passport, impossible to travel to Canada or to United States. This is the document you're gonna need to present to customs, to the police in the airport, and actually, uh, in many places that you want to stay, like a hotel or um, sometimes even get discount. So okay, so you need the visa. Canada, United States, an example, so this is a necessity, because it's necessary, you have to have a passport, you have to present the passport, you have to carry the passport with you, so don't forget it, if you forget, no trip for you, okay? Second example here I'm gonna give, it's the book, okay, so a book is actually nice because if you don't have anything to do if you're bored if like uh the flight uh is delayed you can read the book so it's a good idea and it's my suggestion so my suggestion i tell you that you should bring a book with you in your trip if you uh, don't have anything to do at the moment you want to rest a little bit because you walk too much taking pictures you should stop and you should read a book the book should be in English, but that's just my opinion that I think it's a good idea, right? Other thing that I'm giving here the example, the gloves, right? So, I'm gonna say gloves, but gloves are not important, we are in Brazil, it's summer, 30 degrees outside, like these days it's pretty hot. Um, okay, I went to Canada, Canada in this time of the year, it's cold. One degree Celsius, one degree Celsius, five degrees Celsius, maybe even two negatives or five degrees uh, negative under zero. So it's a really good idea. You must have some gloves, some gloves with you. You don't need. Uh, you can maybe. With the hands in the pockets, cover your hands, but because of the situation and because of the environment, I think it's a must. It's something you must wear, you must have with you to protect your hands from the cold. That makes sense? Okay. So, um, also have another example here. So, we, when we travel abroad, we go to a place which is actually uh, not as cold as here. We forget that sometimes it's important to have these in case of really cold. They're pants, all right? And you wear them under the jeans because it's really cold. And also a jacket. I forgot to mention in the other video. So a jacket that can protect you from the wind. And that's important, okay? You must have a jacket and you must have some underpants with you to protect from the sun but as for my bluetooth headset yeah it's a good idea man it's practical 
no wires, you should have one. If you don't, no big deal. It's a good idea. My suggestion. Okay? Money. Money, it's important. Okay? Money, it's not just important. If you don't have money nowadays, what are you going to do? Reais. Reais. In United States, reais in Canada. You should. Like, you don't have to. It, there's no reason for having that. But, let me see if I can find here. I'm sure it's in my wallet. Oh, there you go. American dollar or Canadian dollar, you have to have. Okay? You need to. Uh, doesn't need to be the bill. Can be maybe just a credit card, but even though, like, money. Okay? Without money, nowadays, life is complicated. Make sense? So, the difference from these three structures that I talked about. You should. Just my opinion right you don't have to do it you don't need to do it you should my opinion no big problem no problems if you don't do whatever i'm suggesting you to okay have to and must okay so the difference from these two can be a little bit more uh complicated because from the examples i gave to you for example it's more than just uh, a little simple suggestion both of them are referring to something that is uh, an obligation. It's you need to, you have to, you need to. Okay, so need to have to, must, all right. Must. It's according to the situation, to the environment, or according to the speaker. It is an obligation or a necessity. And that's why I gave you the example of the gloves. It's going to be cold, but seriously cold. So, if you don't have gloves, you can have uh, a problem, like you cannot take pictures, it's gonna be, you're gonna be shaking or something. So, you have, you, you must, I'm sorry, you must wear some gloves. According to me, it is an obligation. There is no law, or there's nobody telling you, like, oh, you don't have gloves. Oh, so, you cannot enter, you cannot get in the place. So, it's not like that, but, man, you'll see. When it's really cold, you must wear it. Um, as for have to, you have to have the visa in your passport. And um, it's not just I am saying, not just Bruno. It's not just because uh, it's going to be a serious big problem. The, the government of the United States, the government of Canada, uh, obligates and makes you do so. It's external factor. It's something from outside of the speaker that indicates obligation and a necessity.